home more than a roof and the walls and the rooms inside home a place where we belong a place to find peace and reflect on life and a place for those who made sacrifices for this nation we remember them on this day since opening our doors in October of 1991, the Long Island State Veterans Home has provided care to over 15,000 veterans. We continue to be honored to care for the 1%. The 1% of Americans that have worn the uniform, we owe a debt of gratitude to these brave women and men, and Stony Brook University's decision to operate a state veterans home honors all from our region who have served in the armed forces. This university is proud to be the home to such an important facility, a resource for and a monument to our country's heroes. The home is an integral part of Stony Brook Medicine and continues to serve as a training site for the doctors, nurses, therapists, social workers, and dietitians who will go on to help our country's aging population. For the past 30 years, for the next 30 years, and on and on, the lives of our servicemen and women will always be nurtured and honored here. As the son of someone who is a veteran of the Navy in World War II, and the grandson of a Marine from World War I, I feel like when I walk in these halls, I can hear my father and grandfather, and I can only hope that they receive the same kind of outstanding care that the veterans here receive. I know I speak on behalf of all veterans when I say we love this home and the care that's given here is beyond what is expected. They're always there to help us. We couldn't ask for a better location. The Long Island State Veterans Home provides high quality, long-term care to veterans and their spouses, fully supported by medical providers from this extraordinary Stony Brook University. We will all know someone who needs long-term skilled nursing care, and it's so wonderful that this great facility is right in our backyard to serve our nation's heroes. This was the first University Hospital Associated Veterans Nursing Home. It, it broke the mold and it set a new plateau for excellence, and you were all a part of that, and you continue that by being here today. Thank you so very much.